right, so I'm off to soccer. Ooh, there's a bit of a get together here. I wonder what's going on. Uh, people in this area are quite rich, so they have, a, they have uh, almost every house they see here. Either people come in here to mow their lawns, do their yard work, or renovations like crazy, or this or that. So I see a lot of uh, contractors around the area, that's for sure. Yeah, I am off to soccer. We have our second game of the season so far. Um, technically, I would call it our first, but our first game uh, we had to unfortunately forfeit uh, because the soccer system here, they gave us the wrong registration dates. And the registration game dates they gave us were one week later than what we were supposed to. Uh, get it submitted and that was still one month before our first game so we were told that we were late whatever um, we, we were late, technically late one day because they, they told us you know your registration form is due today and you guys haven't sent it uh, haven't sent, sent it in yet so we're like what registrations are due next week for us because we're in a different div uh, they're like nope it's this week so what the heck uh, we even had uh, the emails from them uh, saying that this was the registration date, but they were mad. They messed up. Uh, so they said, "Nope, your registration form is not in. That means you can't play the first game, which is like a month and a half later." So I'm like, "Really? Are you serious?" Uh, and they find us too, for like, like ten dollars a day. I was like, "God damn it! What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with this guy? Driving in the middle of both lanes? Like, what the fuck? Good people these days." Uh, but yeah, so we missed our first game because of the stupid mix-up, so which was retarded. Uh, but today is our, I guess our second game actually. Um, I'm hoping we'll have uh, more than 11 people there. Uh, hopefully we'll have at least four or five subs, but we'll see. Uh, unfortunately, I am not playing, which sucks. I haven't played in a while now. I won't be playing this week because I got my wisdom tooth pulled uh, on Thursday and I can't do any uh, hardcore activities for about a week now. I think I think it's just out of about a week until it fully heals. Because uh, if it opens up, then I might get infected and this and that. And, uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass. So I'm going to lay off soccer for this week. I'm going to start getting back into it next week. So hopefully I'll be able to play for our third game. Uh, but we'll see. I'll definitely have the GoPro uh, during our practices for sure. I want to see how that turns out and uh, see how that looks actually. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, definitely looking forward to. We have uh, a lot of new people for for this team, which is good. So hopefully everybody will play well. But we will see. Uh, from the looks of it, we might have a um, a division title team maybe. Uh, could possibly be the cup, but we will see. You know what? Um, I'm not 100 sure how it plays yet, uh, but hopefully, for the looks of it, you know, we have uh, a good mix of guys. Actually, we have a really good mix of guys. But we'll see how our uh, uh, how our division is. Really depends what kind of opponents we're up against. Uh, I did look at the first game that the other people played, and one team killed the other team 10-1. So. I can only guess, uh, I don't know, I can only guess that maybe either the other team was that bad, uh, they had a bad goalie, or maybe they were just really, really short in players. So, we'll see uh, how that team goes. We play the team today, uh, but unfortunately their scores weren't up from last game, so I couldn't really see how good they were. But, hopefully in about uh, 35 minutes, we'll see. I was supposed to be there in the next five minutes, but I highly doubt I'll be there in the next five minutes. Probably the next 10, maybe 15. Or the game starts at 6 30 anyway, as long as I'm there before that, I think I should be fine. I'm not playing anyway, but it'll be nice to get introduced to everybody and get everybody on point as well. So we'll see. Uh, but so, myself and the other guys are the coaches for these teams. And the same time we play for the team as well. Uh, now, one thing they're probably going to hate, and I know my buddy John's going to hate, is I might not be able to play as much this year again. 
since I took on uh, uh, car detailing with my, with my buddies and uh, doing all these car vinyls, car wraps and everything. So that's going to take up a lot of my time, I think, in the evenings especially. Uh, depends how many clients we get, how many customers, and how busy we get. So, but we'll see. Another topic though, like uh, I got home today and uh, I kept on the TV and just flipping through the channel and I was like, oh look, History HD is on and there's this UFO special. I was like, okay, cool, you know, why not? Let's throw this on, let's see what's on there. And just like, heck, I got some time to kill, so uh, I threw that on, watched that, and I was like, I was like, you know what? All these stories that you hear about UFOs and uh, this and that, uh, I feel like I don't even know what to think. Honestly, I feel like a lot of the stories are BS uh, with sightings here, sightings there, like, oh my god, uh, I saw this massive ship out here, I'm like, yeah, that, that's BS, you know what, if you saw a massive ship a while ago, that's, yeah, I'm sure there'll be some kind of proof of that, there's absolutely nothing, um, and there was all this, like, oh, this picture's not real, this picture's real, or this negative's not the right one, this was modified, it's like, okay, cool, and then obviously the little stuff's not going to be real, so, Oh, we'll see. Like I don't, know, I don't believe in half this uh, UFO crap that people make up. And they say, oh my god, I got abducted, or oh, I was this, I was that. I was like, come on, who's gonna believe that shit? I mean, the most naive, right? But uh, what do you guys think about all this, uh, these UFO stories, this and that? Uh, I personally, I don't believe any of it. I don't. I've never seen anything in my life. Uh, nothing like that in my life, and I probably never will. That's because it doesn't, doesn't exist, but uh, I'm sure there's somewhere far, far away, whatever. It might be extraterrestrial, uh, uh, what's the word for it, uh, microorganisms. That's the, that's definitely a possibility, uh, but nothing that has came, come to our planet yet. Uh, maybe not even well in, our, in my timeline, so. Uh, the other thing I which was uh, pretty actually very interesting on the channel is uh, they found a girl who was 14 years old uh, from the Inca Empire, uh, perfectly frozen uh, on a volcano mountain, uh, which, had, which was at 22,000 feet of altitude, and she was perfectly frozen, she was all wrapped up like, in the clothes or whatever, uh, they found her, and now it's in the museum, I'm not sure where it is, uh, but it's a, she was perfectly preserved, and it was unbelievable. Like from the picture of the show, like how it's in the museum now, you can see yeah, it's absolutely unbelievable. They did a uh, holder out of the museum once at night, and they uh, put it through a CAT scan. Uh, they were they, they all to, to, to see like if she had any, any broken bones, any fractures, whatever. Absolutely nothing. She was completely intact. So they were just they, they just did not know why she was at a mountain that high up, especially twenty two thousand feet. Because they said that uh, only 60 years ago, people just started to climb that mountain. So, and the Inca Empire, I think, it was roughly about 500 years ago, I think. I think that's about right. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I do think I'm correct on that. So, but that is actually pretty cool. You know, I do like watching the History Channel uh, every once in a while. And being able to see what's all out there in the world, what scientists have discovered, and this and that. Even though the, I never took that in school, I never thought about going to like a you know, science major or history, or whatever. It's it's a very interesting subject which I do like a lot. Uh, and the History Channel is the, is the place for that, honestly. Things you see, things you get to you know, learn about on like on a daily basis when that channel's on. So it's it's something really different from what I am in nowadays. So. But I am off. It's all crap about. Oh, I got here pretty damn quick. I got here in about five, ten minutes. Uh, I will talk to you guys in a bit. Uh, wish me luck. Hopefully, we do win uh, the second game of the season. Yeah. It'll be on, it'll be on YouTube. What's going on everybody? Uh, so it is the end of our game. 
unfortunately we did lose uh, but you know it's uh, it's the first game of the season probably about 80% of our team is brand new so we have no chemistry yet uh, nobody really knows each other um, but you know hopefully we'll be better we are usually we're, we're gonna start having two practices a week since we're not superstars yet uh, so we'll, we'll go hard and uh, that's pretty much it, you know. It was a good game. Um, people, they played well, but a lot of people were lazy, that's the thing. I don't know what's the first game of the season. People don't have the legs yet, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I have uh, John following me because this guy doesn't know how to get to his own house back. Uh, he, was just, he was just on uh, Google Maps, and it's like, oh yeah, go down this road, this road, this road, this road, and this road, and you'll get home. Like, why don't you just take this road out of here, Miller's Road, get onto 91st Street, get onto the white mud, and that's it. You only have two sets of lights. Well, probably it'll be technically three now, but that's it. And you'll be home free, no lights, or whatever. Uh, I'm hoping you wonder if he'll hit this. Uh, go ahead with the gas. Yes, he's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's following me now, so you guys probably would have seen that comment uh, that's going to be on YouTube. I told this guy, I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm on, uh, sort of doing vlogs on YouTube, whatever, and he's like, what the hell? What are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. This guy is like, lives under a rock for half this time. And I told him, like, you know, you told him what, what, what I do, whatever, and he's like, he's like, why am I not into it? So, uh, eventually you guys might see him in uh, a few of my vlogs, but we'll see. He's a really funny guy, a uh, really good friend of mine. Uh, you probably, if you watch back the, watch the girlfriend's video, I believe. Uh, yeah, if you watch the, gr the girlfriend's video, I'll link it uh, in the video right about now, and you will uh, actually hear about him there and how we became friends and all this stuff. It's a really funny story. It's actually a really good story as well. So uh, make sure to watch the video, and uh, if you missed the link, here's the link again. Oh, right here or right there, wherever it is. So yeah, make sure to watch that. What are we doing here? The renovations and the freaking grass or something weird but yeah so our game here's the funny thing so our game was supposed to start at 6 30 we didn't really start until like 7 15 so almost 7 30 i think so it's so really late now and i still have to go home and dry my laundry make myself food for lunch for tomorrow and all this so uh, still gotta do all that uh, but yeah so why it started so bloody late well, we got there and nobody had flags for the field. So we had to have three flags. So like, shit, we don't want to forfeit the game, whatever. First game of the season on this, we already missed one game. Uh, so the ref was really nice. And he was like, yeah, no, I'm actually going to go to the next field. I want to get you guys some flags. So the ref actually jumped in his car, went down like 20 blocks, whatever. And they had extra flags. So he picked us up on some flags. We were able to have a good game, whatever. Even though we lost, we had fun. Uh, it was good, but I was like, wow. That ref that went out of his way, got us flags, got the game to go on, because we had no flags. Like, shit. But today's game was a little bit of a fuck-up and kind of crazy, but, you know, like I said, first game of the season, nobody really has that much chemistry, so I think we'll adjust and get into it pretty soon, so we'll see how that goes. Freaking John doesn't turn on his headlights. So you have this older, I think it's an old, an old mobile, I think it's what it is, or a Chrysler, maybe it's a Chrysler actually, shit, I think it's a Chrysler, it doesn't have his headlights on, or it doesn't, doesn't have his lights on, it's like, come on man, it's 927, you should have his later lights on, so you don't have to worry about that, my lights are automatic, I gave him a hard time today though, because uh, it, it got pretty chilly out, it was 13 degrees, a little bit of wind, so it was cold, and uh, I'm just sitting there, I have my car shot or whatever. I uh, just noticed how warm my seats were. I was like, yo, my seats are so warm, my seats are so warm. And he's like, fuck you. My seats are just really soft, really soft. I was like, hey man, I'm just saying that they're warm. And uh, I love heated seats. Absolutely love heated seats. They're a dream. Uh, I remember when uh, growing up, cars didn't really have either like heated seats or automatic headlights whatever uh, or automatic windshield wash uh, windshield washer wipers wow windshield wipers what the hell am I saying they didn't have automatic those and now we just can't live without that it's like a secondary thing what 
what's going on here. Uh, either dust or smoke. Weird. These are like really dusty for some reason. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that's dust or that's smoke or that's some of those retards with a jackal to pick up truck that spews smoke every two seconds, so. But yeah. Crazy. But tomorrow's back to work. Oh, his lights are on. Sweet. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's back to work. Uh, get to spend more, some more time in my new department, which will be nice. And uh, oh, I said I'll upload another video as well. So hopefully, you guys, you guys will probably see another video up on either tomorrow or the day after. You guys will see another video for sure. Uh, but for now, take it easy. Take care. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment on the video. The more comments, the better. Feel free to suggest topics. Uh, you can find me on the Facebook page uh, as well. I will, I will link it in the comments below. That sounds good. You guys take it easy. Have a good night. Yeah.